Welcome to the ICE podcast, supported by the U.S. Soybean Export Council, an initiative to enable the coal chain industry of India to be future ready. Hello, listeners. A warm welcome to another episode of the ICE podcast on coal chain technology. The topic of today's talk is storage and transportation of fruits with specific reference to apples. Do you know that the production of fruits and vegetables in India exceeds the production of food grains? This is good news since we get a large part of our daily nutrition from fruits and vegetables. Fruits are a great source of vitamins, iron, calcium, just to name a few. These are key to our great health. For today's talk, we have one of the experts who was responsible for this tremendous growth in our country. India is one of the top three producers of fruits and vegetables in the world by volumes. And apples is one of the one of the uh, top fruits that require a cold chain. Today, we will hear the special cold storage techniques of controlled atmospheres for long-term storage of apples. It's my pleasure to introduce today's speaker, Dr. R.K. Sharma. Dr. Sharma recently retired after a distinguished tenure from the central government as the director of National Horticulture Board. Dr. Sharma has been an advisor on cold chain and post-harvest technology to several national and international agencies like GIZ Economic Development in Afghanistan, a consultant to NIFTEM, Government of India, core expert at the Food and Agriculture Organization United Nations, and an agribusiness specialist to World Bank projects. It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Sharma. Over to you, sir, for your talk. This lecture is on the handling practices for international protocols and standards so that the apple growers, handlers and traders they can have the best knowledge of scientific handling and storage and transport of the apple fruits. This lecture shall cover the essential components of quality of the fresh produce, then pre-cooling or also known as rapid cooling to maintain the quality of the fruits followed by proper management of temperature, humidity, air flow to achieve these parameters and gaseous combination in the store so that fruit freshness is maintained for a pretty long time. First of all, while looking at the quality of the produce, is very essential because if you have garbage in it shall be garbage out only therefore initial quality of the produce has to be a very high standard therefore apples are widely stored in the so called controlled atmosphere cold storages all over the world they are harvested when they are fully mature fully ripe for a maximum storage life. Immature fruits have a poor eating quality and are likely to shrivel in the storage. Therefore, most varieties are fully ripe with fruit pressure because fruit pressure measurement is a good indicator of ripeness of fruits. So therefore, Fruit pressure, which is measured with the help of pressure meter, it should range between 16 to 20 pounds and total solids, another parameter for the ripeness or maturity of the fruits, it should range between 9 to 10 degree bigs. Therefore, the standard practices in the orchard itself have to be achieved so that we do not get the raw fruits or we also do not get the over mature fruits. Therefore, fruit pressure and 
the total solvent sugar's content should be adequate for longer shelf life in the storage transport and distribution network second important part is the pre cooling also known as rapid cooling it is just to remove the field heat fast for that it is required because a delay of one day at 21 degree celsius at the field itself can reduce the life of the fruits by 10 to 10, 7 to 10 days and therefore whatever be subsequent low temperature of 1 degree or 0 degree we give it will not be able to improve therefore initial lowering of the temperature through pre cooling is very important and therefore the very important for the successful ca stored apples therefore desirable goal for the temperature of fruits in the center of the sacks or stacks of the fruit to drop it 0 to 0.6 degrees celsius in 2 to 4 days is very essential for which we do the pre cooling in hills normally they are grown in the colder areas therefore they transport in nights so that this temperature is maintained so rapid cooling is also important to reduce the water loss from the produce otherwise it gets shriveled temperature is kept within plus 1 degree celsius relative humidity has to be 90 to 95% and air flow has to be 165 cmh cubic meter per hour per metric ton of the fresh produce and there's exact formula how to calculate and the cooling coils by manufacturers also are designed to achieve this much the cmh value of the uh, air flow so that proper temperature and humidity is maintained in the store as also in the transport system also in the store the oxygen content has to be 1 to 2% on the volume over volume basis of the air content inside the store and it should be carbon dioxide content of 1 to 2% again on volume versus volume basis with that you can slightly control the respiration rate within the fruits as also the deterioration of the uh, sugars to break down for respiration so that total quality and tss is maintained quite well and also the prevention of the shriveling of the fruits in the store therefore when you take out fruit after storage of 6 months or a year they are as fresh as turgid and as strong as they were just from the field harvest so this is the storage system parameters how to do it regarding transport also mostly one should use the reefer transport system which reduces the temperature on the way to make it to reach it to the store and also it prevent the moisture loss and modern containers of reefer system have also the ethylene removable system because it has the apparatus which scrubs the ethylene remove the ethylene hence the ripening is delayed but those facilities are if not available then people also use the ordinary storage or ordinary transport trucks but they have to be transported in the night because in the day temperatures are high the nights are cooler so that effect of transporting in the night is very good where the boxes are attached to each other i hope this will be very useful for the beginners and commercial enterprise in agri business of apples thank you